PTC, of course, introduced parametric solid modeling to the world. And the interesting thing was the industry immediately exploded in terms of demand for parametric solid modeling. But in academe, there wasn't that same kind of reaction because in academe, they were still teaching using drafting boards, T-squares, et cetera. We began to recognize that there needed to be an organized program to get not just the software, but the whole strategy of parametric solid modeling into the classroom so that university students were learning it and then as they moved out into the workforce were able to immediately be productive. Professors and instructors were looking for more than just the software, that we needed to provide more enablement and we needed to understand better the education arena. We needed to invest in educators because of the skills and understanding that they could bring to the program. We brought in instructional designers to help with the development of the curriculum and the overall education program. With the education background and expertise, the program changed significantly. The K-12 space, meaning kindergarten through high school, was another area in academe that needed these tools and these strategies to be taught and have built a whole curriculum that really focuses on how do you teach someone say in the middle school years, how to do parametric solid modeling. The other thing that was happening during this time period was PTC was changing. As the company pivoted to IoT and AR, we decided to focus on IoT, augmented reality, research and development of new techniques, new processes, new frameworks, and use those tools to enable instructors, professors, educators of all kind, but students as well. The academic program is excited to function as an intermediary that connects the industrial world and the new technologies that are coming from industry and being implemented in industry to the academic world, whether it be for professors, educators, or for students to help them understand the technologies that are coming, not just those that are here today, but also the ones that will be coming in the next generation.